Ohio! Man, look at the water drop on that hill over there. Hey brother, it's raining. It's raining. Good morning, beautiful people. I had a lovely sleep. It was wonderful to have a heater, particularly when I woke up this morning and found out that it was 39 degrees outside at 6 a.m. So not feeling too shabby about the whole hotel decision, especially since I needed time to charge a bunch of stuff and I still didn't get to charge everything, but the batteries for the cameras are recharged, that's good. My inReach needs a little bit more time to get to a charge that I'm comfortable with. So I think I'm gonna go have breakfast and then come back and pack up the bike and hit the road. I spent my time from about 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. working on back-end businessy things while I have a Wi-Fi connection. So, <laughs> it isn't that I didn't get up early enough, it's just that I had some back-end stuff that I needed to take care of from the last couple days. My brother is already way closer to Leslie Gulch than I am, so I am the one behind. Big surprise, he knows that. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go find some food. Yeah. to meet in Oahe, the town Oahe, and we're gonna go through the canyon lands and then make our way down to camp at Leslie Gulch today with fingers crossed that it's not raining there. <sighs> Depending on what weather app you're looking at, it tells you whether or not it's going to rain or if it's just gonna be cloudy. The people that I talked to in Vail when I stopped at the bank to get some cash were like, oh, I think it's just gonna be cloudy. So I'm like, you better cross your fingers for me because I, I hope so. I would much rather be cloudy than have to deal with some mud, so. My windshield isn't. <laughs> At least I 
can't go over the cliff. Well, it's officially a trip because I dropped the bike on a gnarly uphill. I know some people wouldn't call it gnarly, but it kind of it feels gnarly. Brother helped me pick up the bike. My hands are shaking still. Nothing seems to be broken. So I've got besides the windshield popped off, but it's not being it wasn't held on there by very much anyway. And windshield's fine. We can put it back on. Got the adrenaline pumping. <laughs> It's funny how things always don't look as bad on, like, the camp. Same spot, too. <laughs> didn't even go far. We didn't, I didn't even get anywhere. I was putting the duffel back on, and the rock that the kickstand was on slipped. And now it's over again. He said, facing the wrong way. I don't want it to be facing this way. And the kickstand is still down, so it's just spinning on the kickstand. <laughs> We're already trying to pick it up. Oh, we have to try to drag it around so the nose is pointing that way. <laughs> One, two, three. Got it? Because my foot's under it. Yep. Okay. Get it over. That's called a monkey lift. Did you know that? <laughs> I don't know. I did, but while the camera was off, I said that if I dropped the bike again, or if Gary dropped the bike, that we would turn around. So, there's a drop while it's being reloaded. Count as the second drop or not. I still kind of want to see what's around the corner. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm up to the flat spot. Okay. I believe in you. You got this. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, I see. What are those? And then I got over in here to this section and then I stopped. Oh, yeah. That's a good place. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah! Well, we have made it through the first gnarly ascent of this canyon. I only had to drop my bike twice. Gary dropped it once, but we made it. I'm glad that we didn't turn around. Brother is also glad that we didn't turn around. I'm proud of us. My tailbone hurts a little bit. <laughs> Looks like we have a little bit of downhill stuff to go. Um, as the curl flies, it's about five miles. Man, look at the water drop on that hill over there. get better.
So I don't know if you can see this over here, but that's the direction that Leslie Gulch is. We just came from back there and uh, both of our tires are uh, pretty caked. So there's a reason why they tell you not to go up Leslie Gulch or like this whole area when it's been raining because um, the mud is angry. <laughs> mud is cake. Mud is cake. <laughs> cake is mud, mud is cake. Mud is cake. <laughs> so we have made an executive decision to go back to uh, Vail or Oahe or the first town that has a hotel and sit out the rain and see what our luck brings us tomorrow because uh, I don't want to go all the way down to Leslie Gulch, find out that that road is just caked in mud too. And we definitely can't get it up it if it's wet. And we both don't want to put up our tents in the, in the rain. I'm, I'm going to stop making excuses and we're going to get heading that way. Yeah. <laughs> Most of it came off on the highway. Like when we were sitting there, like that whole thing was just. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not nearly as I'm muddy. Just telling you, like mine, like there's nothing. Like you almost can't even tell, except for the little what? bit of skid plate. What? <laughs> How does this happen? Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but every restaurant in Ontario was closed. So we got Pizza Hut. <laughs> We're gonna mount it to Gary's bike and hope that it makes it back to the hotel. I can put this in my saddlebag. Yeah? Yeah. Man, if I didn't know any better, I would think that it looks like somebody tried to hang me. <laughs> and that is just from my uh, motorcycle jacket rubbing my neck all day. It started irritating me yesterday, like really bad. And uh, it's gotten much worse. <laughs> I've tried like putting my buff down it like and not using the buff it doesn't matter this this has happened so that's good to know as you can see by the background behind us we are in a hotel room i think the last time that i talked to you we were uh, escaping the Oahe canyon and i think it's hilarious that my bike looks like it went to hell and back in the mud and gary's bike is perfectly clean okay not perfectly clean but it definitely doesn't look like my bike does <laughs> I hope you know you're you're gonna be on camera this time. People people wanted you. How, come come here. <laughs> people wanted it. People wanted Gary in the in the shot. We had some tiny baby water crossings that we did not document at all. And then the ascent began, <laughs> which wasn't a big deal at first uh, until we came around like the second or third bend, and then it got really rocky. And Amanda came off of her bike. I used to get like super jittery and full of adrenaline after the bike dumps. And I know from experience that it's not a good idea for me to ride right after that because like the adrenaline just messes with everything and I end up dropping the bike again and again and again. Um, so we get, we took a decent break. A little breather. Yeah. And I finally got my, my courage back together and finished the rest of the way up the steep section. And then Gary proceeded to try to go I mean, your bike was ready. The bike was ready. I was not ready. <laughs> I was not ex I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I wasn't expecting it to like go yet. <laughs> and like, it was just like, I'm ready. Let's go. And I was like, I'm not ready. And then it just kind of dumped over. 
<laughs> so it wasn't like a proper get off. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was fun. Yeah, it was a fun road. Like, yeah. And it's pretty. Yeah. Like you can, once you get up that steep start, you can look down at the lake and everything. It was really cool. Yeah. And we've been watching the gray clouds all day. I especially was watching the gray clouds come in before I left Unity. And I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it like a few miles later, it like, it opened up like, whoosh. <laughs> yeah, it came down pretty good there for, for a little while. Yeah. And the mud is real. When they say that that like whole recreation area really isn't open until like June, they mean it because if it has rained at all, like any of the roads going into the canyon that are dirt, mud is cake, cake is mud. Mud pies <laughs> on your tires. Yeah. Not a good combination. <laughs> I had a good slide. I wish that you would have had a GoPro. I know, that was a good one. It was a good save too. Yeah. I thought you were going down again. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, nope. I little, saved it. A little fishtail. A little fishtail. Like, I went, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> like, it was an S. It was a full on yes. S. <laughs> saved it. <laughs> well, the 5100 overheated. So now we're on the big boy. <laughs> so we uh, came back to Ontario. And, like, it's good. Like, I can get everything charged and make sure the in reach is fully charged and not only at half battery before we try to go back down. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed our adventure in the dirt. <laughs> or the mud. Or Yeah, and the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. If you would like to support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to videos like these over on Patreon, ad-free before the rest of the world. If you cannot support me monetarily right now, that is absolutely okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here every single week. And in the meantime, guys... Question for the end screen crew. Have you ever ridden through a part of your home state that you never knew was there? <laughs> In the meantime, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.